Hello everybody. Just gonna put a I just typed in uh, getting on the Theo Hayes. I just typed in Brunswick Heads. Now that's next door to Byron Bay. And you want to know how deep the tide is. Right? Now it doesn't matter about what time, but just how deep. Alright? Check this out. High tide, low tide, high tide, right? So, in a sec, here we go. Brunswick Heads. Right? So that's high tide, low tide, high tide. See? So it's still there, so it's 5.52 to 11.48. So it's six hours to go out and six hours to come in. So it's a metre deep, approximately. Just under a metre deep, and there's no moon. Right, now let's see what the moon is. Right, well this is not the moon. This is the tidal charts. There, down to there. Oh, just hold there. Just have a look for yourself. Now, there we are up here today. See? 1.5, 1.89. Can you see the difference in the depth? Got from there to there, back down to there, and back up to there. So already the big high tides are finished. See? And then here, I start going back up again. Now that's Brunswick Head's tidal change. What date's on that? It's supposed to be today. I'll I won't wave it around on you. But see how the high tide gets higher? See? 1.36 or 4 foot 5. Then it goes up to 6 foot 2 or 1.89. So the high tide's not always the highest tide. 1.89 is the highest. And the lowest is four foot one and 1.26 meters at the lowest high tide. So that's the lowest high tide. And that's the highest high tide. Because even high tides vary. So look, I'll do it again. I'll hold that. Get a pen and paper, write down your numbers. See, four. See? So it goes as high as six foot two. Well, that's taller than what Theo is. If he was standing down on the sand where I stood at low tide, it'd be six foot two over his head. Last spring tide on Sunday, June twenty-first. Oh, oh, sorry. La what spring tide on Sunday, twenty-first of November? Next spring tide, Sunday, fifth of December. All right. But that's 2021. Now I'm going to go find 2019. Alright, well, apparently I can't go backwards. So let's see. Okay, so it's roughly one hour. Oh, sorry, 12 hour period between high tide and high tide, right? Plus it's, uh, it's 23 hours and 55 minutes. 
5.52 a.m. today at Brunswick, right? 5.52 or 5.47 today at Brunswick. Now, I can go back to 2019 and Fort Denison. So I'll, look, I'll go and look, we'll see what high tide was today at Fort Denison at a.m. and p.m. Now isn't that interesting? Here we are. Sydney Harbour. Today's date. Same date. High tide. 5.31. High tide 5.32. And 11.30. And he goes up at roughly just under one metre. So that's a low high tide. Right? So it's roughly the same time, isn't it? Isn't that what I just did? I said 5.40. So it's only, what, 10 minutes off? Something like that? I said an hour and five. All right. Now let's go back and we'll look at the time for Sydney Harbour, 1st of June, 2019. Put your pen and paper. Go and write it down. That's what you call doing research. Pause the video. Well, this is absolutely going to shock everybody. Now what I'm looking at, I don't believe this. But actual fact, I think it makes sense. 1st of June, Saturday, 2019, Brunswick Heads. Right next door to Byron Bay. Right? That's it there. Now look at the tide. Low tide was a quarter past 12. Point four four three. Then 6.29 a.m. was high tide. Then 12.40 lunchtime, which is when his phone walked around the rocks, was also low tide. So, if it's quarter past 12 is low tide, and Theo got there at, sorry, quarter to one, so that'd be 12.44 at midnight, wouldn't it? Theo left the thing, so he got there at midnight, which is 44 minutes before the tide stopped going out, So he's gone there when the tide's going out. He's wandered into the water at low tide. So if he fell off the rocks, how could he... You know, that doesn't make sense. That's why he's left his phone up the top. I thought it was high tide. Because from what I went off for, uh, Fort Denison. But now I found Brunswick Heads. It's low tide. At 12.44, he would have got there at 12 o'clock and the tide was still going out for another 45 minutes. Then it came in at high tide and then low tide again at 12 o'clock when somebody found his phone to walk around the corner. That's why they could walk around the rocks. I got myself ass up. I was right in the first place when I said it was low tide. Then I said it was high tide. Because I went off where his footprints were. So why was he walking high up on the sand? It was low tide. So there we go. Saturday the 1st, 2019. It was low tide. When he went out there at 12 o'clock. The tide was still just barely going out. Which means if he entered the water between 11.30 at night and 12.30 in the morning... The tide was still going out. And then the tide turned at 12.45 a.m. Does that make sense? Now, if you don't know where Brunswick Heads is, I'll show you. Right. Uh, where's my little pointer? Knife. I'll use a knife. Don't get, don't get excited. 
right there is where Theo went in. That's why I said he come from the north southwest. See, because that's true south. So I, I was right. It did come in southwest. There's Tallow's Beach. And that tide report is taken up here at Brunswick Heads. There's Brunswick Heads. There's, there's the Brunswick River. It's the same tide. So 10 k's up the road. So there's water goes out the top. Everybody talks about water goes. Water goes, get it? What tech goes? I don't know why they got the name water goes. Don't ask me that. Wouldn't have a clue. Right, now let's go satellite. Right, there's Tallow's Beach. This is just where I was. And that's exactly what I went and seen. Exactly there where the cursor is is where Theo sat. So why was he sitting way up there and the tide was right out? So that's where he's sitting there. Now, I'll show you light tide. Now remember I said there's a rock in the water? There's the rock there that I was standing on. Can you see it in front of me finger? What's that it up there? Wait a minute, let's double check. No, it's not it over there. Is that that rock there? That might be it there. Is that it there? That might be it there. Let's have a look at my video. So if I walked on my rock there, it should be two rocks to the right. All right, now let's go and look at my video. Put you on pause. Got it. It's right there in my own video. It was low tide when I was there. Look, there's the other rock. That's the same rock. I'm thinking that this mark out here was a rock. It's not. There's a the rock there, and there's a rock next to it. There's a the rock wall. So Theo's going out there at low tide. I, still, I think I'm pretty sure I still got the tide chart open. Let's have a look. So there's the other rock. That's low tide there. He's walked into there looking at that. Now this is what he would have looked at. Like I said in my video. It looks like it's very safe, very nice and shallow. We can go in there for a swim. Why would he be climbing up the rock face? That does not make any sense. Now look, the tide's just starting to come up my feet. And then it goes on. Come on, get the camera back up. I'm waiting for myself to get the camera back up. There, look. Now it's gone around the rock face. See, look, there's the other rock. It comes out to the second rock, then the third rock. And then I think I show the waves. Put the camera up, put the camera up. Put the, there it is. And there's the tide going out. So that's what he got caught in. See, that's exactly what he got caught in. He got caught in a bloody low tide rip. Now let's go back and and there's the waves coming in, see? Watch. See, waves are coming in. There's the rip. What right, where's the tide chart? Twelve forty four. Low tide. Last bit of the tide was going out on that day. The day, the time. Now let's go back to 60 minutes. And let's see what time he left the club. Right? 12.44. Remember that quarter to one is dead low tide. Tide starts coming in about one. Right? It's got to turn around. Now this is the one where you get the real information off. Following the digital ghost trail of missing Belgian backpacker Theo Hayes under investigation. Right? 
and that's under 60 minutes, which is channel 9. Right, so that's that one there. Let me just skip the stupid ad. Now, that there shows him walking around the side street. And they babble on, and they babble on. Ken does a great job. The part I'm looking for is this bit. There it is, here it comes. See? Theo's using his mat. That's the thing we found. Where is it? Right there, is that it? That, that's it. Right. This is the whole point, the whole video. There's the cheek. There's the cheeky monkey. He come out, went up the side street. He went up Tennyson Street. He come back down Tennyson Street. And then he cut across here. Now that's showing he went parallel to the park. But that to me is too dead straight of a line. Why would he cut across the top of the park and not on the footpath? Then he's cut down there. Then he's cut over here. That's Short Street. And there's the trail. You see? That's the trail he's going on. Because up here is where the car park is. There's the car park there. Channel 9, Channel 7, SBS, everybody else said he's coming out through the car park. He is not. There's the car park. He come out down here. And look, he's walked along the edge. And then he's walked up. See if I can blow that up a bit. I don't know if you can see that. He's got three dots. Can you see the three dots? One's right there. One's then over there where he walked up the trail. And there's one back there all by itself. Can you see it now? I'm trying to get the camera to see it. See what I mean? So I was pretty much a spot right on where I was. See that dot? That's about exactly where I was. Now, in that picture, that rock is underwater. So he definitely went out there at low tide. So why did he walk along the top? It doesn't make sense. Why would he try and crawl up that? Why would he try? I mean, you've been up since 7 o'clock in the morning. Why would you bother? Trying to get a shortcut out. I think he's just decided to go for a swim and he got washed out, like the cops said. They reckon he tried to climb the rock face and fell in, but why would he at low tide? Stupid. And yet, in his phone, the next day, it shows him the phone going around the corner. Hang on, I'll find that. That's exactly where he went. That's what he said. He went up the trail to the lookout. And then walk down, and there's the dots. Look, I'll put the camera in a different angle. So he was sitting, Bertsy, right up there. I was sitting right up there. I said somewhere near there. Well, that's pretty much all pretty damn close. Now, where's the big black rock? Anybody see it? That's it there. That's it there. There's the three rocks. So that's low tide. But is that superimposed at the same time he went missing? I don't know. Is that the Google photo that showed his tracking? Does that actually show the tide as well? Or did they just superimpose that on any time chart? That's what I don't know. That's the question I could ask. Well, if that's correct, it means he went around there at low tide. So why would he leave his phone up there and climb a rock? It doesn't make sense. If you're going to climb a rock, you're not going to climb back down again by yourself. It would be more plausible he took his phone out of his pocket, left it up there on the beach, went in there for a swim, and here in the rip, as you can clearly see the, the waves, and then he's got washed out. 
and here's that main current right here. And as I said, shark attacks. Now, does it make sense? Okay, I was a little bit far up the beach in my video. That lump of wood was up there. All right, fair enough. I'm a little bit out, but I'm still pretty, pretty close, considering I'm doing it all off the internet. And we don't know how deadly accurate that is either. They say that could be up to one metre. So what's to say it wasn't a little bit more out because it was two cell towers trying to pinpoint him around a corner. So there's one there and there's one over there. Well, that would, that would make that pretty accurate, wouldn't it? I suppose it would. Yeah. It's hard to say. You know, we weren't there. Anyway, let's have a look. What else? Did, now, what else do we want to know? How did he walk around? All right, let's see if we can look at that one. So we know it was dead low tide, right? Or almost dead low tide. Almost. <coughs> Pardon me. Right, there's the current. Zoom it out a bit. That's the current I'm talking about. That's the East Coast current. Now look what's right there. That's why the current goes around the rock. It comes out through there, swings around the rock, and then it comes down there. One goes on top of the other. Look, you can actually see it. You can see it right here. And it hits the headland. It's got to go somewhere. It comes down there, hits that, rolls up there, comes around there, and then comes down there. Very simple. And there it is right there. Right there. It's close as that. Now, let's zoom in. This is live Google Earth. There's our three rocks. There's the rock I stood on. There's dead low tide. So Theo was there one hour before dead low tide. So that tide would have been up about, about there. There's the rock I stood on in my video. And look at that. There's the waves coming in. There's the water going out. So there's no waves. Now let's pull down the page. Waves. Waves, waves, waves. Got yeah, I think you've got the idea. I know you're not stupid. See? And then there's a the turbulence on the wave. See the wave? The current goes that way. The wave comes in, it hits it, and like it showed me, it gets pushed sideways. And then it goes right out there. And look at the way that water swirl is. You see, like that's being drawn out there of the foam. It's been dragged out. And then, look at the drop of the big rock. That's way, way underneath the water. Now, if that's way down there, and that's the base of rocks, and that's the height of the headland, how far down is that rock? That's bloody deep. That is huge. Go look at it yourself. Get on Google Earth. There's Cape Byron Lighthouse. There's no way in the world he would have tried to climb those rocks. Now, did he try and walk around the front there at low tide? Right, so there's the rocks there. When they say he climbed the rocks, do they mean he tried to climb up the rocks or climb around the rocks? Because in that other video released by Ken... His phone pinged over here. So how did it ping over here to the north of the lighthouse? How did it get round there? Because then said it pinged around the corner. It's on 60 minutes. It come around the corner. So how did he get round the corner? Did he fall in here? But no, that doesn't make sense. Why was it turned off 12 hours and come this way? That just doesn't make any sense. Or does Theo go to sleep there for 12 hours, come around here, then get washed off? But then again, it's still low tide. But then again, the low tide can still wash off. Look at the strength of the current. It's a mystery. It always will be a mystery. 
God bless you, Theo. Rest in peace, mate. All I, all I can do is just use everything I can find, all the tidal charts, and at least we know it's dead low tide when, well, one hour before dead low tide. Now, they said he was there... Um, he left the cheeky monkey at... What was it? Um... Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, that's my TV in the background. Now, let's just watch this bit here. May 29th. That's a Byron Bay bus stop. He loses. Uh -huh. That's showing, yeah, that's him walking out there, the cheeky monkey. Uh, walking out there to wake up. There's his mate. 31st of May. He goes out for the night. There's the cheeky monkey. And what's the time? Where's the time stamp? 11.08 p.m. And it's dead low tide at 12.44. So he's still got 11.08 around to 12, then 44 minutes. So he's got 52, 44, he's got 90, he's got an hour and a half before dead low tide. And see that? He's walking down here. That's the main street that way. He's going down the side street. Well, there you go. So an hour and 45 minutes before dead low tide. And I'll tell you now, he would have walked there before an hour and 45 minutes. Quite easily. I just feel sorry there for the godfather. Anyway, that's enough of that. So, sorry Theo. But you're gone, mate. Sorry to say it. He's a great bloke. What I can gather from the news media was a top bloke who's had a great life ahead of him and he got caught by the water. It's all as simple as that. That's what the police said. Crying, up, crawl, trying to climb the rocks. I thought that meant he was trying to climb up these rocks. Maybe they meant he was trying to climb around the rocks. See, that's one thing I hate about the news media. And then the other thing they did on the news media, they said he came down to here. And they showed him standing in there. The news reporter said this is where he went in. He didn't go in there at all. He went in over here on the trail, wherever it is. Let's just find it. See? That's where he went in over here. That's where I pulled up. And I talked to the backpacker. So there's that street there. Milndy Street. So he's walked down here. He's walked down around there. Goes up there, see? And then that comes out the back of the ranger station. But he didn't go out that way. He turned off. There's another one. Where is it? I've got to find it. Hang on, I'll find it. There it is there. Milne Track. See? Right there. That's the one he went down, because that's from the one his GPS showed he went on. See? And it goes straight up here and comes onto there. And then it goes down. What's in the sand? And there it is there. You can see the track. That's where he's come out. And then he's walked up here. Now, can we put a pin on that somewhere? Let's see if we can find a pin. Uh, what do we got? See if there's any photos there. No, nothing there. All right. Um, you used to be able to put a pin on them.
So he's walked up there. Then he's come up here to the car park. There's, there's a water washout. That's the water from the back of the car park. Comes down there. That's Tallow's Beach. There's the cars there. That's where I went. And then I walked up here. See? There's the trail. It's a bit clearer. There's the landing. It's up there somewhere. It's up in there. I couldn't walk up there, neither could Chris. But that's where we sat. We sat up here on a log. So how was, and then there was another tree log sitting there. But he got there at low tide, as I said. Boom, look at that current there going out. That's what I reckon. No, well, Theo, rest in peace, mate. I'm up. I've had enough. I think we've all had enough. I just feel sorry for the family. Not had enough. It's just a mystery that's never ever going to get solved. If he's gone out there, mate, he's he's gone. You know, you're gone. It's look how deep it is. It's just you know, and way out here. Never seen off the coast, of, east coast of Australia. There's Byron Bay City. Look at that for a rock formation. See, that's why it's called the Great Barrier Reef. See, there's New Mia. There's New Zealand. And look, and look at the rocks. See? See, it's cut its way down through the rocks. Anyway, what do you do? What do you say? What else can I look up? Um... I'll show you where he stayed. I filmed Byron Bay to uh, Suffolk Park, by the way, if anybody wants to go down and look at that. You want to see what this Suffolk Park area looks like? That bit of road just there, I filmed that there. It's down there in the chart. Byron Bay to Suffolk Park. I filmed about from about here to stand along there and show you how it goes back to the bush. See? From houses so quickly back into the bush I don't think you met with foul flame yourself I honestly don't I think he's just got me drowned very simply where are we 50 something 52 I think he is This thing took me on the main street. Stupid bloody map. Okay, I know where I am. Jeez, I'm a, I'm a good driver. <laughs> I don't know, 54 Shirley. Stupid thing. Um... There's Kendall, who's out here, and he's about here somewhere. There we go. And this is where we're staying. The beach. Which way am I going on this damn thing? It's not showing me which way I'm going. So you can see it's a very picturesque sort of place. I think it's here somewhere. Eh? 
Nothing. Backpackers, beans. Lost it. 25. No, it wasn't 25. It's back at. He's at 52. This is where he was, he's, I think, somewhere here. Trying to get a street number, it's not giving me a street number, but I think it's that joint there in the trees. No, it's not going to let me do it. Anyway, that's where he is. You can get in and Google it yourself, get in and have a Google it. That's where he went. All right, from Mr. Hominoid, we're glad we sorted that all out. I made a mistake. I said it was high tide, it was low tide. Ooh, what a stick me foot in me mouth. Anyway, I'll make a correction on my videos. So, yeah, from Mr. Hominoid, like, share, and subscribe anyway for the correction, at least. <laughs> so, yeah.